This is the most exciting video you can watch with your clothes on. Pause the video now and make an attempt at writing code. <laughs> Let's write the method to perform integer division. We cannot use the division operator. Here is the iterative solution. We have a counter. We repeatedly add divisor until the sum exceeds dividend. The counter keeps track of number of times we need to add the divisor to reach the terminating condition. The count is returned as the result. We can trace the execution of the program to understand the code. Let the numerator be 8 and denominator be 2. We can create a trace table with columns for iteration number and the two variables count and sum. Before we enter the loop, we initialize the variables count and sum to 0 and 2. So for iteration 0, we have 0 for count and 2 for sum. At the end of first iteration, we have 1 for count and 4 for sum. At the end of second iteration, we have 2 for count and 6 for sum. At the end of third iteration, we have 3 for count and 8 for sum. At the end of fourth iteration, we have 4 for count and 10 for sum. 10 is greater than 8, so we exit the while loop and return count as the answer. We can now draw the recursion diagram. Let's take a concrete example of dividing 75 by 25. We know the result is 3. We can reduce the problem to a smaller subproblem by subtracting 25 from 75. We get 50 divided by 25 as the subproblem. We know the result of this subproblem is 2. To get the final result, we need to add 1 to the result of the subproblem. We can now see the recursive solution. We have one base case. We reduce the problem to a smaller subproblem. We then make a recursive call for the smaller subproblem. We also add 1 to the result of the subproblem. The entire thing is an implicit counter. In the iterative solution, the counter was explicit. Fuck. The counter was explicit. Hey, ha, how y'all doing? Sign up for your free coding interview coaching call. Fuck. Sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach.